I think growing up as a, as a kid on the edge of the prairie and, and being able to be out there and literally just lie on your back and, and watch clouds go by and all the shapes and, and uh, watch storms develop. I, I became a daydreamer very early and a sky watcher. And that has stayed with me really, you know, my whole life. I know somebody told me many, many, many years ago, but the quality of light that is on the plains, especially Saskatchewan, and I think it's because it's, a, it's so dry here in a sense that there's this wonderful crispness to the air and quality of light is it just, it's, it's luminous. I've always been an intuitive painter and I, I do follow my instincts. When I start a painting, sometimes I don't know if I want it to feel that it's gonna be dark or light. And once I make a mark, then that mark leads to another mark and so on. And then it just becomes a, a you know, a, a, self, a process that I'm just, um, I'm just following some other source that's coming from inside. When I'm out there, I'm gathering information. When I'm in the studio, it's like trying to wave a magic wand and regurgitate that, that energy that I felt when I was out there. These poplars, I just find absolutely stunning. They, they, they change from, from green to gray to uh, light to dark, uh, just depending on the quality of light and so on. You get a day like today, which is kind of a neutral uh, light and they just they just glow with their own kind of inner light. It's kind of flat light in a certain way. I guess the obvious thing is just this giant sense of space. I find that if I'm in the mountains sometimes or in a more confined situation, an urban situation, my thoughts just keep coming in, coming in, coming in, and sort of bouncing around inside the head. But on the prairies, it's for me, it's just this continual expanse of calm. When I sense a storm coming on, I just, I, I just get this sense of adrenaline. If I'm not already, I want to grab my sketchbook or grab something that I can respond to it visually and try and pick up on the energy. Whether it's a darkening sky or just this buildup of cumulus clouds, which I find extraordinarily exciting. My first experience of, of LaRange was actually when we bought this particular cabin. And it was a feeling of, because it wasn't going to be a home, but it was a feeling like, ah, I, I'm home. This is, this is, it was almost like I'd found a natural studio that I knew I was going to be able to use for a long, long time. I guess it was love at first sight in that, that true sense. When I'm, when I'm going along and I'm watching all these trees, there's something about, it's just, uh, it's the, it's the experience, uh, it's an uplifting experience. It just, it just fills me with a sense of awe that there's a place that is so beautiful. Light has always intrigued me and, and quality of light kind of uh, shifts color and, and color shifts quality of light somehow. And uh, I think I, I get more inspiration from watching light change as I do from other aspects of being out in the, on the motif.
sometimes, you know, people, people, their work, they're, they're thinking, they're thinking so much and you've just got to let it, let it go. I think it, it's a, an idea that's been kind of bouncing around my head for a long, long time, just uh, the notion of sky as cathedral. For me, when I'm out in the, uh, in the, in the prairie or up north in La Ranch, uh, there's a, I'm, I'm just I'm meditating on the absolute power and uh, wonder of, of nature, I guess. And I, I feel very fortunate that nature affects me in that way.